Hey everybody, welcome to welcome back to Tammy Talks. Um, I am Tammy. We are here today to talk Married at First Sight, season 13, episode 14, Country Chaos with Brett and Ryan. Um, if you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. We are almost there, y'all. So if you have been searching my name um, every week, stop the searching, save your fingers, hit the subscribe button, thumbs up the video, um, leave some comments down below. Let's get into it, y'all. So, Brett and Ryan. Um, they're in the car on the way to the couple's retreat. And, um, like the couple's trip. And Brett is just saying how she's excited, you know, to get there. Or, I'm sorry, before they even get in the car, Brett says she's excited to kind of, you know, hang out with everyone. Um... Ryan said he's excited to be in his element. He does not mention being excited to, you know, get to spend some time with his wife. He wants to get in his element. He wants to go out and shoot guns and, and hike and do all that type of stuff because that's the type of person that Ryan is. So they're in the car and um, Ryan looks like he just cannot stand to be around Brett. Like in his mind, he is resigned that he does not like her. That's that's how he feels. There's nothing to get around that. And he's made up his mind that he does not like this woman. And because he does not like her, it's like everything that she does or says or just even her mere presence, like it sickens him. It upsets him. So Brett told Ryan that she um, met with his sister and his sister said that she thinks that there must be someone from the past that is causing Ryan to behave the way that he is around her. So Ryan gets mad. And I'm like, oh, yeah, because there's some truth to it. So Ryan gets mad and he um, said that Brett should not be confused about anything because his actions should tell her everything that she needs to know. And he's a person that's based on action. And if she can't tell by his actions, then that's just too bad for you, sweetheart. But he does not feel the need to say things if he is exuding based on his actions. Because he kept saying actions. If his actions are showing a certain way. So basically, he's a coward. He doesn't want to have to say, you know what, Brett? I'm sorry. I'm just not that into you. You, I'm sure that you're a great girl. Maybe we can be friends. But as far as a marriage or relationship, I'm just not that into you. Instead of him being a grown-ass man and saying that, um, Ryan doesn't do that. And he um, is like stringing her along. But I also feel at the same time, Brett, you know what it is. You know what it is. And you're you're continue, you're start you're torturing yourself by putting yourself through this knowing 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 that this man does not see it for you he doesn't see it for you so Brett is just kind of looking at him like well you know she I think she even says that you know she just kind of feels that you have to be direct and really say what's going on and that's when Ryan is like rolling his eyes and probably cussing his sister out in his head because he's probably like, I don't even know why my damn sister would even say anything. <laughs> so um, when they get there for the group, um, they have like this sit down dinner um, that Bao cooked and Michaela gives this speech about like being direct with, with your spouse, letting them know how you feel. That way you don't leave anything to chance. You don't want anyone to be in the dark. And the cameraman is like zooming in on both Brian, um, Ryan and Brett. And you can see Ryan kind of being like, damn, that's me. Uh, while Brett is kind of thinking like, yes, like Brett really just wants Ryan to tell her what it is and what it ain't going to be. And I think if he were to be very upfront with her, she would deal with it. She would be okay. But you leading her on is, is kind of making things worse. So, um, later that night, they're all sitting outside around the fire pit and Johnny presents by, um, sorry, Johnny presents, um, Brett with this box and it has cookies in there in the shape of bones that say Baxter on there. And they're just like, you know, we're sorry you're going through a rough time. We know how much, you know, Baxter meant to you. If you ever had a dog growing up, I grew up with a dog. Um, we had a Cocker Spaniel and we ended up having, like my parents gave him away. 
and like it's he didn't die within our our um our care but it's rough when you have a dog we had our dog for eight years so i had my dog like growing up so it's rough when you have this dog and you're used to this dog and because they're a part they're members of the family and especially for brett you know someone that's single um and that's been her little roly so they have these sprinklers um sparklers excuse me they have the sparklers and they have a nice little moment for her and she gives a speech thanking everybody for how you know gracious they've been how caring and thoughtful they've been throughout this entire process for her because on top of her losing her dog you know she's in a shitty ass marriage and then ryan is like yeah i wish i could have done more for her you could have you're her husband it takes nothing for you to give her flowers it takes nothing for you to get um i don't know a picture of the damn dog framed and give it to her like it's like ryan feels that he should be with a a, a young ditzy blonde bimbo that and if you are blind no offense to you but he feels that that's the type of woman that he should be with that's going to dote on him and he wants a trophy wife and like he if you're not attracted to brett that's fine that's fine tell her don't string her along tell her that's it so um, they're sitting out that night and everyone is like, all right, we're going to head on to sleep. So we have Ryan and Brett and then we have Johnny and Bao. Now, Ryan and Brett were the last to arrive. So they hadn't even like seen the rooms or anything. They came in and, um, kind of like fell into dinner. So Ryan said, so what are the sleeping arrangements or whatever? Cause Johnny kind of calls it out. It was like, how are you guys going to do the sleeping arrangements, everybody's picked beds, there's only six rooms. And Ryan is like, oh, well, I'm cool with, you know, sharing a room with, with Brett. And Brett said, absolutely not. <laughs> We're not sharing a room tonight. Why would we be sharing a room? And Ryan was like, oh, okay. So Ryan has the nerve to get mad. Ryan gets mad because he said that well, in his confessional, at least, he said because he came into this weekend with the intent to try, like Dr., like he told Dr. Pepper he would. But my thing is, Ryan, you literally snapped and bit her head off earlier in the car ride because she asked you to be direct with her. And then here you are hinting and just kind of insinuating that you want to hinting insinuating i guess we can share a room when you know damn well you don't want to why would y'all share a room and y'all don't share a room at home so then um bow and johnny aren't going to share a room there's only six rooms there are five couples so it should work out <laughs> um so johnny and ryan actually flip a coin to see who's going to get the extra room who's going to take the couch and they're talking and ryan is just kind of like upset because Ryan is kind of upset because he feels like now that he's trying like now that he is you know ready to try that Brett has just like done a 180 and now she doesn't care anymore and now she doesn't want to try and it's like what are you talking about how dare you who are you to get mad because now you know, 10 days out, you decided that maybe I should give my marriage a fair shot. And she's over it at this point. Y'all don't sleep in the same room at home. Why would y'all sleep in the same room now? So, oh, then he said he was willing to share a room with Johnny. And Johnny was like, boy, please, I'm wrong. We're going to flip. So Ryan loses and Ryan is on the couch, the community couch for the weekend, which, okay. So, um... Ryan is actually outside and they're talking to the guys. Um, the guys are having like a group chat when they have lunch. And he is kind of like whining about how he came into this weekend wanting to try with Brett, wanting to put forth, you know, a, a, a good, put, you know, get on the good foot. And he's like, and she's not even willing to try. You know, I thought we could sleep in the same bed, in the same room. And Zach was like, wait, why would it be different? Now, when y'all don't sleep in the same room together back home. 
kind of on some, why do you have an attitude now, but when you're at home, you don't want to sleep in the same room with her? Why would you think that it would be different here? And Ryan didn't have an answer. He didn't have an answer. Um, he, like, looked stupid. Because, like, all the guys were, like, genuinely confused. Well, don't, don't come and put on no show for us because you and your you and your wife aren't getting along. Don't come put on a show for us. Like, it made absolutely, like, no sense. So, um, that's when Ryan says again, well, I guess I just should have been a little bit more direct with her and kind of told her that, you know, I wanted to kind of put forth, um that I just kind of wanted to put forth, you know, a different effort tonight or this weekend, whatever. And it's like, boy, bye. So he goes skeet shooting with Brett uh, Bow and Johnny. And Ryan is like, I'm disappointed because I thought this would be something that we could do together and she would enjoy. Why? She's not an outdoorsy person like you. You should know this about her by now. Nothing about Brett looks like she wants to sit outside and shoot guns. On top of the fact that she has anxiety. She is an anxiety-ridden person. You know this. So she's over there flinching from all the loud gun out of the gunshots. And you're like kind of like confused. So Brett is talking to Johnny, who Johnny is also not doing any of the shooting. And Johnny is like trying to give her advice. Shut up, Johnny. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Worry about your own. Worry about your own business. So, Brett and Ryan have a chat. A, a a <laughs> Brett and Ryan have a talk. So, Brett and Ryan have a talk. And Ryan is, um, Brett calls him out for like asking in front of everybody if they were going to share a room. And she said, why would you even assume that we would? And... Ryan is like, because I came this weekend, you know, saying that I was going to do what I promised Dr. Pepper, I was going to try. And then he's like, well, I don't, I'm not direct with you ever because of this, you're causing the scene. And I said, what scene is she causing? It's the two of you having a discussion. And then it dawned on me and kind of like reaffirmed what I've been saying, saying for a while. Ryan wants to come across as the good guy. You know what I mean? He doesn't want to come across on TV as the guy that is argue um as the guy that's not likable. He doesn't want to come across as the guy that is doing Brett wrong and doing Brett dirty. So to him, her calling him out on camera, whoo child, like he's floored. He doesn't want that at all because he doesn't want to seem like the bad guy because he knows he goes, he, he knows that he wants to divorce her. And he's hoping that once that Instagram opens up and that he gets an influx of women coming in and he doesn't want them to think for any reason that he's not the good guy that he spent the first 13 episodes portraying himself to be. So Brett just kind of tells him, like, I don't go by action. I go by words. There's no reason for you to be direct. Um... And Ryan is like, well, I don't want negative conversations. And Brett was like, you think honesty is negative. I'm an, I'm, I'm an adult. I'm an adult. And so Ryan is kind of like realizing that. And he's like, well, he wishes that he would have tried sooner. And then they just kind of agreed to let's just make the most of the rest of the weekend, the rest of the time that we have together. If something kicks off, something kicks off. Ryan is going to wake up and be 60 years old and alone because he kept throwing women away, throwing women away, throwing women away because he's chasing perfection that's just not out there. So um, later when they go to like this little goat feeding farm with... um. The remaining couples, um, he kind of tells Brett that he's going to try. And I'm like, girl, who cares at this point? It's it's too, I feel like it's too late. You don't want to be with her. You say you're based on actions. Your actions have shown that. Because Brett called him out on that too. And was like, you, you keep saying you want to try, but then your actions tell a different story. And you say to watch your actions. So that's what I'm doing. So that has been Brett and Ryan. I am Tammy. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, thumbs up the video. Leave some comments down below. Let's talk about Brett and Ryan. And like, is it even worth it at this point? We see next week that he's on the dating app. So he, he don't see it for you, girl.